Oh boy. All right, so today we are gonna be walking you guys through a couple Amazon specific products that we have lying around the studio that we think will be really useful to some of you guys. Now, some of these may not be your average customizing products, but they are absolutely something that you can get a lot of great use out of. So we tried to think a little bit outside the box on products that everybody might not have and some things that might be a little bit unconventional. So you guys might find some great use out of these. You might think that you'd never use them. If you are interested in them, you can go ahead and check out some of the links that we have listed below for each of the five products we're gonna be showing. And of course, a little disclosure, we do get a little bit of a kickback if you guys go ahead and use any of those Amazon affiliate links. So let's go ahead and get things started with our first package. All right, so first up we have this Manfrotto mini tripod along with a smartphone clamp. This thing is super useful. There's a ton of different little tripods that you can pick up on Amazon, but we wanted to go ahead and pick a really trusty one. One that comes from an actually good camera brand, Manfrotto, definitely trusted. And this is gonna be a sturdy one. The legs are nice and sturdy. It's not a cheap one. You can get a lot of great use out of this. We can go ahead and uh, show you what this looks like once we attach the phone on here. There's a lot of different ways that you can change the angle of this head and get some really cool angles. So once we hold this little lever on the side here, you can see that this ball head is completely adjustable to get any angle that you wanna do. This is really cool because of how small the footprint is that you can set this up anywhere on your table where you're customizing and do some really cool time lapses and things like that. And if you're potentially doing any vlogging, you could also go ahead, do this type of handheld look. If you're potentially doing any Instagram stories where you're talking directly to the camera, this is gonna be super useful. So one of the things that we've been getting a lot recently is if we can go ahead and check out some other people's Instagrams and let them know what we think about their profile and their feed and things of that nature. And one of the most common things that we're noticing is that people aren't creating enough content during the actual project. All they're doing is showing the final product and you're not creating enough content that way. So having something like this nearby, like I said, you'll be able to film those time lapses when you're doing um, you know, a special piece within the project where you think it'll be cool um, to show off how much you're doing in a short time frame or something like that. Or even if you know you're gonna sit down and do a bunch of prepping or a bunch of taping or potentially work straight for four hours, you can go ahead, set this up, set up your smartphone and just press record for a while and then go ahead and show that experience to your followers. So something like this is gonna be super handy and you could definitely get a lot of great use out of. All right, so next up we have this ginormous spinning Oreo cookie. And what this is great for is you could do this if you're doing any airbrushing, you can go ahead, place the shoes directly on here and spin them with your off hand while you're potentially spraying with the other hand. So this makes your job a whole lot easier when you're airbrushing. Even if you're not airbrushing and you're just doing some hand painting, it's really easy to put this on top of and as you're working from one side of the shoe to the other, you can slowly start to spin it and it's just really convenient to have. There's a lot of different sizes and options. You could pick up a classic Lazy Susan in just like this, but this eight inch one seems to work really well for shoes and it fits really conveniently inside a tabletop airbrush booth. There's even some electronic battery powered ones that you could pick up that'll actually spin for you. You might have seen us do that in some videos in the past where we set the shoes on there, just let them spin, and then film some B-roll with something like that. But this is one that you might be able to use by yourself by potentially borrowing somebody else's hand to spin the shoe from the back while you're taking a photo or video of it to get something really cool. Or maybe you might even attempt to do something like this nearby at your station. You can have whatever paints you're currently working on for your current project and just go ahead and cycle through those very quickly. So you can get quite a few different uses out of something like this. All right, if anybody knows where Amazon gets their tape made, I would love to know. They have the best tape out there. It's super thin, but it's incredibly strong at the same time. This is a classic 18 by 24 cutting mat. This is something that you can get a lot of use out of if you do something like vinyl stenciling on a lot of your shoes. But you might have also seen somebody like Sophie Soaps use it as a background for a lot of her YouTube videos. She'll commonly show a shoe on top of it for some of her uh, transitioning scenes. And uh, this is a good size for you to just have you know, potentially on your workstation and work right on top of this. 
So I use these every single day. We have a couple of them located throughout our studio. We of course have them nearby. Any of our vinyl cutters, anytime I need to slice up any vinyl to any specific size or shape, no matter the project, I'm gonna go ahead, cut it directly on top of this, and it's gonna save you from cutting directly on top of any of your tables and leaving cut lines across all of your tables. So for example, I might take something like our 12 inch wide vinyl roll, place it on here, and let's say I wanna cut 12 inches or so, I'm gonna line it up at the 20 inch mark, subtract 12 from that, and then I know I'm gonna cut directly at the eight inch mark, and here I'm gonna have a nice 12 by 12 sheet. And so now we're ready to go ahead and load something like this directly onto our cutting mat and cut out any vinyl on something like our Silhouette Cameo. And I think we might have one more use for this with our next product. So this right here, this is an exciting one. This is something that we've wanted to talk about for quite a while. If you guys already watched our custom sneaker photography video, you might have already seen this featured, but what this is, is contact paper. And so you can compare this pretty closely to vinyl. It's on a roll and it has two sheets. One part is sticky, the other piece is just backing. And so we bought this in a white marble pattern. And what you can do with this is lay this down directly on top of any surface, whether you wanna have it as something permanent, such as on a table, which we've done here, or you could go ahead, place this just directly onto the ground, peel it up afterwards or something a little more permanent, you can put it on a piece of cardboard, foam core, illustration board, poster board, anything like that so that you can reuse this again in the future. But what this does is create a unique background for you to take pictures of your shoes on top of. And so what we did was select the white marble pattern, which we thought had an elegant feel to it, and then we knew we were gonna shoot a black Yeezy with the Shenron Dragon directly on top of it. So the black would contrast the white, and then we knew that we would really get the Yeezy to be able to pop directly off this background. And so it's just about you being able to create a cool scene along with a place for you to take pictures of your custom sneakers. And so when working with a roll of contact paper like this, you might take full advantage of having something like a cutting mat nearby to cut it to any size or shape that you want to then place it directly on top of. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you go check out our custom sneaker photography video so you can see how we really utilize this. All right, last one. We got a big one here. So this is gonna be a four drawer rolling cart and this thing is awesome. Already comes pre-made too, so that is awesome. It's not like Ikea, you don't have to build this from scratch. The only thing that we need to assemble is the wheels, which are located here in one of the pullout drawers. So we have two larger drawers at the bottom. These are a good size. They're probably about 12 inches or so worth of depth. And then, you know, we have about another 10 inches or so wide. So you can fit a lot of stuff in here. Why I like to keep this nearby me is so that you can keep any of your paints that you commonly use that you don't wanna go and put away um, in your potentially larger paint setup. You can keep nearby products that you use every single day, whether that be some of your tapes, you know, X-Acto knives, things like that, Q-tips, toothpicks, paintbrushes. There's just a lot of great use for you to keep this nearby and you could wheel it around if you potentially work at different stations, whatever the case may be. The top half of this is nice. There's two smaller drawers that are uh, about a third of the size in the uh, total height for the bottom drawers. And then our top part here has this nice little organization setup that you can then separate a few other things, whether that be your pencils, paintbrushes, there's just a lot of great use out of this. You can keep a ton of your products nearby, potentially store everything that you may have if you don't already have an insane amount of gear and uh, a large setup. You could keep it all in here and potentially move it around, wheel it around with you as you move around your studio. So you can get a lot of great use out of this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing some of these unconventional items. Hopefully you might potentially see yourself getting some use out of them. We just went ahead, went around our studio and tried to think of some items that aren't necessarily related to paint, but that we know that we still use kind of on a daily basis. So all of these items are things that I truly use on a daily basis and I stand behind. Our goal isn't necessarily to make a ton of money off of you guys on affiliate links or anything like that, but we just wanted to go ahead and show you guys some things that you could purchase directly from Amazon that you could get some use out of that you might not have thought of. So we would love to hear about some other unconventional items that you guys might be using for customizing that everybody else might not know about, such as us utilizing a toothpick all the time. We would love to hear what you guys are using. So let us know in the comments down below and we will see you guys in that next video.